the Wisdom Inspired Talk podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I am Yomi Akipelu, your wisdom coach, speaker, teacher, and author of Blow the Cup of Your Capability and other books. In this podcast, we will learn from the wisdom of wise men and women from ancient and contemporary times. We will glean wisdom from books, biographies, teachings, quotes, and sayings of sages through the ages. So let's dive right in. Today, we'll be speaking about excuses. But first, a quote and a story. An excuse is a way of promising ourselves that we will have the same issue again, says Henry Cloud. Now for the story. Abraham Lincoln was faced with many opportunities to give up on his dream of being president of the United States. Between the ages of 22 and 24, he failed in two business ventures. During that time, he ran for the state legislature and lost. Two years later, the woman he loved died, and then he had a nervous breakdown. Over the next 20 years, Lincoln lost seven more political races. Finally, at the age of 51, Abraham Lincoln was elected President of the United States. He had more than enough excuses to give up on his dream, but he didn't take any of them. Instead, he pursued his dreams relentlessly. President Roosevelt could have hidden behind the excuse of his paralyzed legs. President Truman could have used the no college education excuse. President Kennedy could have said, I'm too young to be president. President Johnson and Haynes Hoover could have ducked behind the heart attacks. But none of them did. They went on to become presidents. So don't make excuses, make progress. Someone said, you can have results or you can have excuses, but not both. The person who really wants to do something finds a way. The others find an excuse. When you make a mistake and then make an excuse for it, you have made two mistakes. Most failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. Excuses are a crutch for lack of commitment and a smokescreen for self-justification. You cannot help someone until they are willing to take responsibility for their lives and apply the given solutions. Mark Twain said, there are a thousand excuses for failure but never a good reason. So, choose progress. Don't choose excuses. Excuses change nothing. Sure, they can make you feel better, but what's the point of feeling better if you're still stuck? The origin of every excuse is the failure to do something. Excuses are nothing more than a reason to fail. The lazy man finds an excuse. The diligent man finds a way. So I say, find a way, don't find an excuse. John Mason said, When you're good at making excuses, it's hard to excel at anything else. So excel in life. Not at excuses, but at the good things. Each time you make an excuse, the excuse becomes embedded more deeply into your subconscious mind. Thoughts, positive or negative, grow stronger when fertilized with constant repetition. After a while, you actually believe the excuse to be the truth. So don't get into the habit of making excuses. Don't fertilize excuses. Choose instead to make progress. Don't choose the habit of excuses because when you habitually make excuses, you never learn anything. 
because you are justifying the unjustifiable. The excuses cloud your mind and you don't see the truth of your situation. It's a vicious circle. So don't get caught up in that whirlpool of excuses. To be completely honest, there isn't really much to say about excuses except that they stink, make you sink, and keep you stuck in self-pity and mediocrity. So snap out of it and soar into success. Alexander Pope said, Do you find yourself making excuses when you do not perform? Shed the excuses and face reality. Excuses are the loser's way out. They will mar your credibility and stunt your personal growth. So snap out of it. Have you heard the excuses from children who said, The dog ate my homework. Or the employee who got to work late and his excuse was, Wait for it. An iguana ate my car key. Incredible. Oh, please. Don't even get me started. Okay, here are some more excuses. But you have to move closer to hear these ones. But not too close. Okay. This one is titled, All My Great Excuses by Ken Nesbitt. It's about a child who, instead of doing his homework, decides to make lame and ridiculous excuses about how his pen ran out of ink, the hamster ate his homework, he accidentally dropped the homework in the soup, he dropped it in the toilet, and then how an aeroplane crashed into his house and the homework caught fire. Now listen to this one. How aliens and an evil clown abducted him. And so on. Oh, I love the response of the teacher to the excuses. She said, I think you'll find it easier if you had done the work instead. Of course. I think it would have been easier to channel all that brain power and creativity of writing that poem into just getting the homework done. Everyone makes excuses, saints and sinners. And two more excuses just came to mind while doing this podcast. Two excuses found in the Bible. The first one was an excuse given by Aaron to Moses. Now Moses had gone to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments and Aaron was left in charge of the people. By the time Moses came down with the Ten Commandments, the people were running riots, having a rev and just partying and worshipping a gold calf. When Moses asked Aaron, why did you allow these people to run riot? Guess what Aaron said? Aaron said, they gave me their gold jewelry, their earrings and trinkets. I threw it into the fire and out came this golden calf. Ridiculous. Can you believe that? All right, the next one, these 12 spies had been sent to the promised land to just spy out the land to see how good it was and they came back with an evil report they said 10 of them said we can't go into the land the land swallows up people can you believe that and then they said and we looked like grasshoppers in the eyes of the people so if the land swallows people how come there are people living there they made excuses that they couldn't take the land. And yes, they didn't take the land. They died in the wilderness. So excuses are just inexcusable. I think excuses are just lies we tell ourselves so we don't feel too bad and do something about the rot we're in. So get rid of all those the devil made me do it excuses and make things happen. Make changes, then make history. Chris Hogan said, an excuse is the skin of a lie wrapped up in a reason. And that is all for today. Until next time, keep on growing in wisdom 
and maturity. Blow the cap of your capability. Be unstoppable. Be awesome. I'm cheering you on.